Psychic people, welcome. So in today's video, as you can see from the title, I'm gonna continue the Always Look Put Together series or the Looking Put Together series here on the channel. I haven't forgot about it, I was just moving. <laughs> and today I'm gonna tell you 10 habits that I do that help me stay ready for most occasions. As I've told you guys before, in my job, I often have to go from work to a cocktail hour or to a corporate event or something like that. And that requires a certain level of maintenance for me. Uh, but it's also spilled over into just general life where regardless, I'm always putting what I consider my best self forward. And first and foremost is moisturized skin. Regardless of the state of my skin, right? You guys know I deal with hormonal acne spurts. But as long as my skin looks moisturized and supple, I'm good. I get facials because it helps keep my skin looking balanced and calm. Right now I'm in a really good place, right? But next week it could be totally different. I could have pimples. But if you look at my vlogs, even though I have them, I'm still keeping my skin moisturized. There's still a glow to it. And so though there are imperfections, you can tell that I still care for my skin, right? I'm not going for perfection. There's nothing perfect about me, but I do want to maintain a particular regimen so that my skin remains healthy. And then in that same vein is fresh breath. And with Invisalign, right, with braces, there's definitely a constant attention to my breath, and my whole dental care routine, but I've always really felt it important to have fresh breath. And so, of course, I do my typical morning and evening, brushing my teeth, etc. Now there's a third in there. But I also, you know, take mints with me when I leave the house. I always have some kind of mouthwash with me so that I can rinse my mouth out and just keep really fresh breath. Regardless of the state of your teeth, there's a lot you can't control in life uh, if financially you're just not there. But most of us can always either gargle with some water or with a little bit of mouthwash. And then since we're still talking about grooming, managing your body hair. This is something that I've obsessed about, probably unhealthily, since I was a child. My mom used to always say, like, you don't allow any hair to grow on your legs. I've gotten better. I do allow hair to grow on my legs now, but I am really big about managing my body hair, which is why I get waxed once a month. You guys have seen me in vlogs at European Wax. But regardless of what you do, whether you shave, I shave my pits every other day because I just don't like body hair. But regardless of how much body hair you like, right? There are different people who like different things, managing it, right? Making sure that it's always a particular state and you don't let it go. And I do this because it makes me feel good, right? So I don't like when I have too much body hair on my legs. It makes me feel not ready to wear a skirt or a, a shorts or anything like that. And you guys know I'm always running in things. And so I keep my body hair managed and maintained so that I feel confident, so that I feel like I can wear anything without having to do a whole production to get ready. And another thing in this realm is having your nails manicured. Now, this has not always been a thing for me. This is a thing that goes in spurts, but I've definitely been asked, do you ever wear nail color? And yes, I do. But if it looks chipped, like excessively chipped, or it just doesn't look good, I'd rather not have anything on my nails to maintain the appearance of manicured nails than have nails with chip polish or jagged, you know, things going on with it. Instead, I just like to moisturize my nails every evening with vitamin E oil. So they look really healthy, right? I don't think you have to have polish all the time. That's just me, some people do. But I will keep a certain look to my nails so that they always look manicured. I like to go get them manicured once a month or once a quarter because I'm trash at it. As a nail biter, I suck <laughs> at doing a regular male nail maintenance. I have no practice in it, right? but I will always, always keep them looking fresh. So a lot of the times in my videos, you guys see it, my nails with no polish because I don't want to do a video with a bunch of chipped paint, right? That's just me. Some women don't care, right? It's just, it depends on what you like, what you want, but keeping a, a manicured nail goes a very long way in maintaining a certain standard for yourself. 
And then moving forward, scent yourself. Always scent yourself. Um, I am the person who scents themselves before they go to sleep. I have perfumes that I wear to bed as well as going out. But like in general, even to the gym, I wear perfume because it makes me feel good. Like I like to have control over my scent as much as you can, right? There's a certain level of natural body scent that is beautiful, right? That smells great. I love the smell of a fresh, clean man. It just does something for me. But also for myself, right, I like to smell fresh. I consider scent a part of my entire person, right? When I'm going out on a daily basis, when I'm at home, I just consider it a part of my grooming. And so sit yourself, whether you're just using soap, right? You're using a particular soap, a particular body lotion, or if you're into perfumes. I don't have a lot of perfumes. I like to be very particular and have more signature type scents. But I know a lot of women have like these great combinations, right? The perfumes or lotions and perfumes, whatever. Just have care when it comes to your scent. And the last thing when it comes to grooming is style your hair, right? I, I experiment with products so much that they don't always come out well. And so a lot of times I have to style my hair. Like this is the first time I'm using this particular product and I definitely stretched my hair carefully so that I would like the overall shape and result of my hair, right? And I only have to do this once. Throughout the week it will change and I will have to adapt my hair as the week goes, right? I may have to refresh it with some gel. I may have to put it up in a puff. Whatever it is, I'm going to style my hair. I'm not going to leave it any kind of way. When I leave the house, if I leave the house, it will be ready. But as part of my morning routine, styling my hair is essential. That way I'm always ready. It always looks good. And then for me is makeup. Makeup is the next thing. I have a five minute face, a 10 minute face, a 20 minute face, uh, I'm gonna go get it done face, right? Uh, it just depends. I, If I wanna leave the house, just leave the house um, to go run errands or something, I'll throw on a five minute face, right? That's a bit of um, brow gel, now that my eyebrows are microbladed. Um, a bit of mascara, maybe concealer, maybe, maybe not, and a gloss. I, I mean, really simple, right? Easy, quick fix. And this is just me putting an effort into my appearance because it gives me more confidence, but also because the world judges you on your appearance, right? I know that, we all know that. And so I will do little things to ensure that I represent myself in the way that I feel most confident, not concerned with how other people think I look or whatever, like no. It's about what makes me feel confident. And then whatever the rest of the world thinks, I don't care. Uh, but this is just part of my routine, a bit of makeup. Um, I think as I have aged, that has become more important to me. When I was younger, um, I didn't care as much, right? I didn't wear makeup when I was just running errands, but I would wear makeup to school every day. Um, once I got to college, I wasn't allowed to wear makeup in high school, which worked for me. Um, but just that five minute, that 10 minute, that 20 minute face, the ability to do that brings me more confidence, right? I may not wear a full face all the time, but if I want to put on a face to go to an event, I want it to look good. And so I practice it. I can do it, right? I don't have to pay somebody to do it. I can do it. Now there are certain events where I'm definitely going to pay somebody to do it, but that's just because I work, I work in particular realms, particular spaces, right? Where that's appropriate, right? But for me, putting on any kind of makeup is about enhancing my features. And I have a particular aesthetic with my makeup that I go for. But I think it's important to think about it and make a decision as opposed to just being like, I don't know how to do it. Um, and then when you come to an event, you don't want to go anywhere. Like you panic because you don't know how to do anything when you can spend the time practicing and go nowhere, right? So that you learn to get the look you want so that when you go somewhere, you have the appearance you want. In the way of clothing and looking put together, you always want to not have any clothes that you don't want to wear, right? That have rips that to the point where you wouldn't wear it, right? I do have pants with rips intentionally. 
Um, but you don't want to own clothes that you wouldn't wear or that you don't know how to style. So part of my journey and gaining a particular personal style was learning that I don't need to buy things just because they look good or someone say they look good. I buy clothing that fits within my overall wardrobe that I will wear. Like you guys saw this in my haul. This is a crop top from Zara that I really like um, that I wear in multiple ways, right? In my wardrobe. And so it made sense within my wardrobe. There are other things that my sister sent me, but it didn't make sense, right? If I'm not going to wear it, if I can't see myself wearing clothing, it doesn't need to be in my closet. But if you see yourself wearing these NMDs that I just bought like a couple months ago, then I'm going to wear them. And I've worn these pink NMDs over and over. That's important to keep a ready closet, right? If you've already thought about, oh, this could go with this and this and this, when it's time for you to go somewhere, it's less of a struggle, right? You don't say to yourself, I got nothing to wear. No, you have plenty to wear. Even when I had a small wardrobe, right? When it was just like a smaller capsule before I built my wardrobe capsule up, I would just recycle certain outfits, right? Because I liked them. I liked the clothes that were in my closet. And so I just wear the same outfits, especially to work. Let me tell you, I wore the same outfits to work. And I mean, what matters is my confidence. Like I said, it's not about other people. It's about what makes me feel confident and make me feel like I'm going out there in a way that represents who I am. And then along the same lines is prep your clothing. When I went to work, I would always prep my clothing the night before, but taking it a step further before the panoramic times, when I washed my clothes, after I took them out of the dryer, part of putting them away for me was preparing them to wear. So, you know, you put your socks away, you put everything away, but also I would iron anything I needed ironed, which was very rare. I love steaming clothes, um, but I would steam anything that was wrinkled and then put it away. That way, my clothes stayed ready. I never have to be like, mm, this isn't ironed and I don't have time. I only have 10 minutes, I don't have time to steam this, right? No, once I wash them, I just go ahead and get them ready. Um, I, I don't dry clean clothes nearly as much anymore. I just handle them myself now, just because of care. Like I, I always found that the dry cleaners were too hard on my clothing um, and I want my clothes to last. And so I will steam things that need to be steamed. I will iron my jeans. I love a good wrinkled t-shirt though. I rarely do anything to my t-shirts. That's a personal style choice. But I will prep outfits the night before, especially if I'm going to work and I have to go to an event um, in the evening. I've got to figure out, you know, what am I going to wear? Um, how am I going to transition my outfit? I did that a lot. Uh, that will start happening again here shortly. How am I gonna transition my outfit from work to cocktail hour or a corporate event? And a lot of times I didn't have to do much in that realm. But if you keep your clothes prepped, they'll always be ready. And last but not least is keep a to-go kit. And I have different sizes because I have different bags. This is from Target a while ago. I love Target's little pouches and this is from Black Girls Run. But in these kits, like right now, this one has all of my Invisalign like teeth cleaning stuff. Um, but then I also keep a perfume with me. I'll keep wipes with me, deodorant wipes or just feminine hygiene wipes. But keep some kind of to-go kit together so that you're always ready for whatever occasion. As a woman with a really heavy period, there are just things I always have to have. I always keep an extra pair of underwear, period underwear. Um, and, and other things uh, as well. Keep a to-go kit with you. Um, I, some people call it an emergency bag, whatever it is, keep a to-go kit with you so that you can always have fresh breath, right? Uh, a scent that you like. You can manage any messy situations, etc. It's just one of those things that really separates the people who really care about the polish of their parents and the people who really just like, okay, we're out the house, we're good. <laughs> and this to-go bag is always at a particular place, lotions, etc. cetera. Um, it's not something that I pack every time. It's something that I have particular things in it that I just keep replenishing as they run out. So that's my 10 habits to stay ready. 
And in the comments, let me know, do you do any of these things? Uh, is there anything that I mentioned that you know, you're gonna try? Or if you have another tip, definitely leave it in the comments below because I know there are a lot of people like me out there in these streets. And if you enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe so we can see each other in the next one. Bye.